Once upon a time, I was in a band called Four Non Blondes. We had an international hit song called What's Up. It still gets played on the radio, streamed, and karaoke bars and movies, all kinds of places to this day. Whether you've wanted to or not, you've probably heard it. Our album Bigger, Better, Faster, More sold around 7 million copies, and I was fortunate to get to tour with Four Non Blondes doing concert and television appearances for years. Before and since then, I've also played in many other bands with lots of awesome artists in all kinds of musical situations. Who doesn't love sharing what they love? So along with playing drums, I've been teaching for quite a while now. Seeing the joy on a student's face when they learn to play a new pattern or a beat from a song that they want to learn, that brings me a lot of pleasure. I consider myself extremely fortunate to do this every day. I'm super excited about my latest book, Beginner to Band, and being able to share drumming through these video lessons with you all. Back to my background. Loving music as a kid, I landed on drums and percussion after trying out some other instruments that included piano and a couple of horns, trombone, and baritone. I took private lessons and played in groups from grade school through college. All kinds of groups including concert band, marching band, drumline, pep band, orchestra, choral groups, new music ensemble, percussion ensembles, and of course, my favorite, rock bands. I would pretty much do anything and everything though. I had some great private instructors along the way that helped me learn reading and technique and just helped me love music. My percussion choices in college were basically jazz or classical, so during those years my focus was on classical percussion at school while I played in rock bands at night in Hollywood. I grew up in Los Angeles, so there's a lot to do right there. While I appreciated all styles of music, my heart was in the rock band world, so post-college I kept my two day jobs, teaching drums and waitressing, and lucky me, I got to be a rock star for a few years. But as you know, that is not the most reliable long-term job. So circumstances changed, but teaching and playing drums is still what I do every day, and I consider myself very fortunate in that regard. I've also been fortunate to interview some great players and write for and be written about in some of those Drum Geek magazines over the years, and I have five drum method titles published through Mel Bay Publications and another three through Online Drummer. I basically do my best to keep expanding my musical horizons and to continue creating music and musical education materials.